Marty here coming to you from West Mineral, Kansas. And what are we doing here? Well, just outside of town, we're going to go check out the world's largest electric shovel. And you're going to want to see this, so see you there. Now we traveled down the road a little bit, and now we're going to come and look at what you're here for. Just for some reference here, just before we show you Big Brutus, this is a small shovel here. You can see the cab on it, where somebody my size would sit in, the reference to it, the bucket on it. Now I'm going to show you Big Brutus. Now this is Big Brutus. Don't look that big. Let's go to the side here a little bit. As I walk here, if you look off to the bottom here, on the right hand side, remember the little shovel that I showed you? It's right there. Look at the difference in size. This thing is massive. Let's go check it out close up. We're coming up on the crawlers here in a second. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see me standing next to you just to get an idea of the height of these crawlers. Now I'm six foot one and these things are easily a foot and a half above my head. It seems to be double tracked on each one. There's four crawlers or sets of crawlers. So there's eight total crawlers on here. Let's crawl underneath here and see what it is. I mean, unbelievable. The sheer size of this. I mean, I've been around big stuff. I grew up by Manitowoc with Manitowoc cranes. I've seen some big cranes, but I've never seen anything this size. This is huge. Humongous. Let's go take a look inside, see what we got here. Well, the trick is to find the entrance to get into this. There's a couple platforms around here. Oh, well, there's one that says enter. Well, we're right underneath it now, right up to the bottom. All right, let's make the last set of steps and get inside the machine, see what we got here. Before we do, let's take a look at this ring gear here, where the ring it rides on. It doesn't look like it's actually a gear. It just rides on steel rails, steel wheels. Pretty neat, that's what makes it turn. I feel like I'm in an old military ship. Stairs I came up here. And just beyond, behind the stairs, I believe, is the electrical area. You can see all the wiring coming down to you know, heat resistors, some of the old breakers in there. So much mold, old breakers, where have they been removed? Not really back here to see, other than that. Let's go down another corridor and see what we find. Another small room. Looks like a big hydraulic cylinder of some sort. This is the doorway on the top of the steps we came up. room with some plaques, some pictures. These almost look like geodes. Let's see what's on the next level. Let's see if we can find where they operated this. Oh my God, this is a huge room. Wow, this is like a big open room. This is unbelievably huge in here. Wow.
take a look where we're at here. Here's a door looking to the outside. Well, a little scary up this high. Let's keep moving around and look at some of the equipment in here that's operating this, that's driving this. Now, this is electric. Now, I haven't seen it yet, but somewhere on here, or maybe it was remote, I'm not sure, but there's got to be like diesel engines turning a generator to turn the DC motors to operate this. Now, a lot of this, I don't know what I'm looking at, but it's big. view from the other side. I mean the ceiling in here has got to be 50 feet tall. I mean it's up there. And I'm inside of this how high off the ground already. These big power cables here. I assume that these big pads here with the power cables that are down here is where the engines probably sat that turned the generators that drove the DC motors, which in turn drove this thing to do what it does. Now earlier in here, I thought that maybe they had some motors that were turning the generators. Apparently after reading the sign that they actually brought the power in from somewhere remote, AC power, turned an AC motor to turn a DC generator and then the DC generator power DC motors to drive this thing. Now this is all part of the drives for the boom you can see here where a DC motor normal probably sat here and then it turned that for the boom to go up and down or the dip or whatever these actually controlled. I'm assuming the boom one on each side there's a door to go out there, but I believe back in the 2000s, somebody did go out there and climbed on top of this thing and attempted to do a jump and accidentally fell before they tried to jump and killed themselves. So that was the end of that. Let's see if we can actually find the operating room in this thing. Now this looks like it could possibly hit. Let's go through this door and see what we got. Yep. Here it is, the heart of the machine right here. This is the throne. And we're gonna have a seat in here once just to see what it's like. I mean, just sitting here and looking down at that, the massive size of that. I mean, to know that these few controls here that are in front of me, and these two foot controls is what moves this thing from left to right, up and down. Unbelievable. Take another view of the bucket. We come down here. I mean, look at that. Wow. I want to thank you guys for coming along with me and putting up with the first video that I've tried to turn out. Please leave something in the comments of what you thought, my narration, or how good or how bad the video was. I'd appreciate that. It would help me. On our way out on the exit here, there's a bunch of transformers. Obviously for part of the drives. Another large room on the way out. You can see what's around the corner. It's more electrical. Goes over to the other side. And let's go out and we'll just take a quick walk around the machine so you can see it from the outside.
and now we'll do a walk around. And actually, for reference, Sally's walking right there. Let's go get a picture of her in the bucket. There's the operator's booth, and there's Sally standing inside of it in the center. Now oh, that is massive. If I remember right, this is like 90 yards this can grab in one swipe. Well, that concludes our video. Thank everybody for watching. Wave, Sally. Thanks again. Give you a couple facts about it. The machine with no ballast in it weighs 9,300,000 pounds. Its working weight approximately is 11 million pounds. The height of this thing is 15 stories tall. It's 160 feet from the ground to the top of the sheave at the top of the boom. The boom itself is 150 feet long. The dipper handle is 88 feet long. The maximum dumping reach is 150 feet, the maximum dumping height is 101 feet, and the maximum digging depth is 69 feet.